Hi there. As many of you are probably aware, we've recently announced an update to our Love Me and Rescue support solution. One aspect of that announcement that we're really excited about is that we've added formal support for Android, the Android mobile platform. Now, this is particularly important for both telecoms and enterprises, particularly as we venture further into a world where mobile devices form a critical part of our daily work life. Now, you're probably aware that we've been supporting smart devices based on platforms like BlackBerry, Symbian, Windows Mobile, and Apple's iOS platform. We're excited to be extending that full range of functionality onto the Android mobile platform. And we've been working with device manufacturers since early 2009 to ensure that LogMeIn is the first company in the world to offer full remote control support on Android devices. So how does it work? There are several ways we can initiate and send a PIN code to the customer in question. In this case, we will just manually generate that PIN code, and then we will convey that to the customer over the call and have that customer launch the rescue icon on the Android device, in this case the Galaxy Tab. They'll accept the description of the application and then directly enter the PIN code that the technician has generated in the tech console, and the device will then connect to the gateway and the session will pop up in the agent's queue as uh, you would be familiar with in a normal uh, rescue session. So we start the session to open it or activate it and of course in the chat area we can communicate directly with the customer um, and they will, that will show up in their chat dialog box on the device and they obviously will have the ability to directly chat back if necessary entering text. This is an interesting and pretty effective way to communicate instructions or anything uh, you know any any information that is difficult to communicate verbally or there's a there's a communication problem. So that session the chat window stays open throughout the session and within the work area we can see the um, typical array of features that Rescue provides. Uh, we'll start with the system information and this is an interesting way for a technician to generate a very sort of a baseline view of the health and obviously the customer will opt in to that and we'll see everything that the technician is requesting on the device and immediately we get a very quick snapshot of the baseline device health using the system info and on the Android devices it's often helpful because they're pulling applications from the market to just generate a, a quick list of applications that are installed to validate with the customer that these are applications that they believe should be on their own device and to make sure that there is nothing unintended on the device. We can also have a look at the processes that are running on an Android device and if uh, we're dealing with an issue where the device is sluggish or unresponsive this is an interesting way to check the process consumption. File transfer works as normal. We can transfer from a local desktop to the device if we need to generate scripts for the customer to run. We have access to the root file system, but in a read-only fashion. It's protected uh, on these devices. But the headline feature, obviously, is the uh, remote access to the device, remote control and remote view. Uh, we give the flexibility to the, to the technician to do either. Uh, depending on their comfort level and the customer's comfort level. So we start a remote control session the way we ordinarily would and immediately we see a a form factor accurate simulation of the Galaxy tab in the work area. And uh, on particularly on tablet devices we can make that full screen to uh, make it a little clearer and this is in available in tear away form if the technician is using a second monitor and immediately we can start to inject events or control that device directly through the tech console. <clears throat> um, we can check applications, we can essentially control the device as if it were in our own hands. We can swipe the screen so it is responsive to all of the usual uh, touch inputs, uh, touch and swipe inputs. And of course at all times the customer holding the device in their hands shares that control and in this case the customer went back to the home screen and can terminate the session at any point uh, directly from the device. So it really is sharing access to the device. The technician is not taking over completely but, but uh, really sharing access and sharing control of that device.
So as you can see, we're really excited about this new functionality in the product. And we're excited also about the uptake of Android in the industry in general. We've already signed up over a dozen of the world's top telecom operators. And several of the leading device manufacturers are already shipping LogMe and Rescue on their Android smartphones and tablets. We continue to work hard on this. It's important to us to continue to lead the way with respect to Android remote support. If you happen to be at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, we will be demonstrating the full solution on our booth. So why not drop by and see it in action? Thanks for your time.